Hey everyone, I'd like to uh, kind of do my own review on this WL Toys A959. I just got it in the mail yesterday and I've put about maybe five battery packs through it now so definitely drove it around a little bit. Worn down the tires a little decent, decently but a lot of the reviews I've seen haven't gone into too much detail about the car they just kind of talk about oh it's so fast and blah 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 on that and then not too much else I mean besides listing what comes in the box which uh, it's kind of basic just your transmitter car one battery and a charger it's usually a charger with the plugs meant for China or other countries that are not US standard they sometimes include a converter but you know I've actually gotten unlucky and received a couple RC cars without them um, but yeah this car so far is great it's awesome it's a ton of fun it's decently quick and not, not, not super fast but pretty quick uh, but there are a couple things about it that I definitely would like to point out um, one of them most notably straight out of the box this there is so much play in these it is just ridiculous that is you know that is just a lot of wobble in there you know this this side's definitely worse than this one you know but at the back got a little bit you know a little bit more solid but I'm more concerned about this because um, the reason that's pretty bad is because when you accelerate, especially with the all-wheel drive car like this, when you accelerate, it wants to pull forward. Okay? And when that pulls forward, it's obviously going to change your alignment here when both of these are pulled forward like that, because they're both under torque. And what happens is that will cause the car to maybe drive in a straight line. But as soon as you let off and it starts to decelerate, boom, that gets pulled back. By not touching any of the steering, by adding no steering, you are literally going from here to here. And, you know, that makes a pretty big difference. This guy, as soon as I start decelerating, he pulls really hard. Uh, not, not crazy, but it, it's definitely significant enough to uh, it could throw you off. Um, outside of that, uh, the only other issue I'm having is twice I have had the car continue moving or doing something after I have released it from the transmitter you know I'll go like that let off the throttle and maybe for a solid full like second and a half which is a long time you know when you're not just to do its own thing it'll continue to accelerate or turn that's happened to me twice but I will say it was at probably about a hundred foot distance you know, you're not, not like crazy far, but decent distance, so it might just be from a crappy transmitter. You know, there are fresh batteries in there, though, um, or something. You know, I might, the antenna is tucked up under here. But let's go ahead and look on the inside and see what we got in there and talk a little bit more about that. All right, now that we got that top off of there. We'll just kind of go through what we got. I do not have the battery in here at the moment. It is on my charger. But, you know, we'll just kind of go through. It's got a JST battery connection. So it'll obviously run any two cell LiPo you want to throw on there that's got a JST. Um, 390 brushed motor. Pretty decent power for, you know, what it is. It'll, it'll do some, it'll do some all wheel burnouts and stuff on concrete and wherever other surface a little bit small for off-road use but it'll still if you have a smooth dirt surface it's still a lot of fun on there um, things I would recommend place a servo with something aftermarket uh, some metal gears in there uh, place this and you know all these little linkages you know all of them and then maybe on top of that your hubs down in here because you know they I think sorry you can't see too well but the hubs you know they got some play it's pretty surprising actually this is but that is my biggest complaint about this car the rest of it this car is great this car is a blast you know 
Um, it's just it's pretty good for the price you pay for it. So um, let's see what else can I think about. All right, let's uh, let's go over the transmitter. This thing is it's all right. It's decent. A little bulky. Um, and you got your trim right here, your throttle trim, your steering trim, but I will say the buttons, they are not the best form of trim adjustment in my opinion. I would say in the future, if possible, give them some knobs that you can turn much better. This is alright, decent. It feels like over time, if you plan on keeping this transmitter, this outer wheel, you know, that's going to get pretty... It's going to turn into that weird, hard kind of felt fabric stuff over time. You know, if your thumb sits in the same spot of cheap fabrics like that, it just gets hard and weird. That's going to happen, you know. But other than that, it seems like a decent transmitter. It runs on four double A's. Uh, you can, you know, adjust your antenna a little bit depending on how you hold your transmitter. You get some a little bit better range. Other than that, you know, I... I'd say the car is pretty pretty great. Body comes with the uh, plastic still on it, so if you uh, tear it all up, you can just peel it all, peel that plastic off, and it'll look brand new again. But uh, yeah, it's a great little car. Uh, like I said, the only couple complaints I have about it are just this stuff right in there, and. Uh, maybe oil filled shocks would be nice, but other than that, for what you pay, you can't you can't really complain about it. And uh, yeah, I'd probably give it a eight out of ten. And thanks for watching this review.